All right, Big Bang, today is Monday. It's August 22nd. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports. Uh, Snake Draft Monday. We are joined by first time guest. Uh, I want to say you're the newest hire, but you're not. We keep hiring you fucking guys. But we're joined by Barstool Idol contestant uh, John Rich. John, welcome to the show. We're happy to have you. Thanks, guys. Um, been a big fan of this for a long time. I think I'm a decent person for this category, maybe. Hoping to make a good appearance. I always, I always get mad at you guys for... I don't know. I don't want to say like agreeing too much, but I always said if I would come on the show, I was going to put up a fight and not just tell everyone that had a good pick. So All right, defend like yourself was... wearing that fucking chain. Then let me hear yeah, that story. Let's, yeah, let's hear that. Chicago is in a very Look, big chain I, I've town. I've never been a. <laughs> I had never been a chain guy my entire life. I came to New York for Barstool Idol. I had bought one like a week before, and I'm like, fuck it, I want to try to be a chain guy. Wore the chain guy for Barstool Idol, and it went really fucking well so i'm like i guess this is just me now so now i'm a guy with the chain and any plans to like hype that up you're gonna add like a cross or a diamond or maybe a gold chain like a shorter gold chain oh you're gonna be two chains above this maybe three chains i don't know maybe the more chains i add things just keep going well i might just keep adding chains (laughs) um how old are you john rich i'm 30. okay I would have guessed you were like 25. I was going to guess L- mid Little old too. there to be starting the chain. Yeah. Usually that happens way earlier in a man's like life. Like when you're 16. It says a lot about where you were at when you bought that chain before Idol. So Did congratulations you ever- on your success, and hopefully it's a good reminder of how far you've come. Were you a hookah shell guy? I had a puka shell necklace for oh. like a year. Did you just call it hookah? I did. Yeah, it's I tough. fucked that up. That's tough, yeah. man. Yeah. Hookah. <laughs> Do you know what it is called? Puka shell. Okay. Yeah. John Rich, uh, did you go to Dracula's funeral? I did not. I didn't catch an invite. I, I wasn't one of, I guess I wasn't one of his closest friends. I just got a witness to death. Okay. Okay. You guys don't get that. I don't think anyone else got it either. But <laughs> Many people will, and if you know, you know. Uh, I love inside jokes. <laughs> was that, not was that something very, from a blog you yes, wrote or something? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Dracula died on the plane that I was on. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. All right, I'll plug the blog. What's the blog? Yeah, we're here. Man, what was that It was one the called? Flight from was, Hell or something called like My that. Flight from Hell, or yeah. play-by-play of My Flight from Hell. Yeah, there you go. Go check that out. We'll get it Check it out. Joke. It's a good one. Um, so the topic, I don't, unfortunately, foresee a ton of disagreement. Right. Well, maybe we just you never know. The spirit of you know, John says we need more of it. Maybe, maybe in that spirit, we just talk a little bit more shit today. Yeah, we could do that. We, we could certainly do that. So we are drafting album covers. Um, John Rich, first of all, I I don't want to make an excuse for your performance because you still may come here and dust us all, but you are you are filling in today, and we really appreciate it. And uh, you know, our our original guest uh, is out. He you were my first choice. He has an injury. Um, so thank you. thank you for filling in and, uh, but I'm just, I'm just letting the people know if your performance is not good, we could blame that. No excuses, Eddie. No okay. excuses. Okay, good, good. Um, so yeah, we're doing album covers, uh, freestyle, no categories, just straight up best album covers. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I would say that that's enough chit chat. Who won the uh, last one? White Sox Dave. Congratulations. That was an absolute bloodbath as it should have been. <laughs> So was pizza, by the way. I never got my congrats, but congrats to myself for the pizza. Well, I mean, you, we were a, a you were a meat lover, round one, round two. I didn't think that you would do that. I definitely thought that sausage <laughs> or pepperoni would be on the backside. Same. So. I had to. Uh, it, it, it was, was savage, though. It like, was power honestly. move. <laughs> I had to. You exerted some dominance there. But uh, it says a lot about, you know, what people want. And, people want the meat. And, of course, like, immediately a week after that draft, we get um, – Recalls on home run in and fucking Papa John's. Yep. Is oh, doing I'm her. taking shrapnel. I mean, the metal that they're recalling is just being packaged up and bombed my way. It's it's been an unfortunate situation, but I stand strong with home run in. They've reached out to me. They asked if they could send me a care package. I do not think I'm going to accept the care package. You don't Decline want a metal it. pizza? Eh, because it. we're just past the point where I like want a couple free pizzas. Like I'm out here in the fucking trenches. Mm-hmm. Okay, like no disrespect to the product that I drafted very early. Some said too early. But if all the work and all the fight and all the, you know, just like love I I put out there for home run in, you know, 
It wouldn't be, it wouldn't hurt if you wanted to sponsor something on like a podcast that we do out of here. Be great. Yeah, yeah. Any of that stuff. So It'd go be ahead. Great. That, show some loyalty that way, maybe. I would love the third round pick sponsored by Homer in it. It would be it would be beautiful. I mean that would be fucking sick. They sweet. know who to Same call thing. They, all that stuff. So no dis- it's a great product. One of the chains that dra- got drafted also reached out. Same thing. I agree. Even though I'm talking about them now, someone's gonna say you fucking idiot. You're talking <laughs> about them. Um, but yeah, Papa John's also released like an ingredients bowl. I don't know if you saw that. I tried to order Papa John's last night, and it was like 11:55. It wouldn't go through. It was devastating. <laughs> you were gonna get the ingredients bowl. No, I was, oh. gonna, I was, gonna, I was gonna get a standard 12-inch sausage. Although, Thank you. I mean, you took Dave to Chicago Pizza Oven Grinder, which is not that different. From an ingredients. Oh, bowl. it's very different, Chief. Very. Well, how different. is it very I've different? I've never been there still. Because it's a, the. I mean, the, it still has crust, but it is. But the like, bowl is crust. I know, but the way you would eat many bites would be very similar. Yeah, but at the end of the day, like it has a huge component of pizza. I'm with Chief. I can't believe you did that, Ed. I we were nearby. It wasn't like a. It wasn't like a. I love this place thing, even though it is solid. Flatbread is great. Yeah, flatbread is very good. Um, all right, we can get going. Enough about pizza, sorry. Uh, John, uh, Harry has number one through five behind his back. What number is it? One. No. Carl. Two. Nope. Four. Nope. Three. Yes. Oh, I'll go first. Wow. I will say Thank that D- Dave, uh, music podcast Dave, Yes. Should win this if no, he doesn't. If he well, doesn't win it, he should well, be embarrassed. I'll comment about that real quick. But let's, well, once we finish this, so one through four, um, one. Yes. No, that I'll take two. I'll take two. Uh, one through three, John. Three. Yes. Uh, what, what, I'll, go, I'll go three. All right, John Rich. Um, one or two, Carl. One. Yep. I'll take the last spot. All right. I'm not getting meat lovered again. <laughs> uh, the order is White Sox, Dave, Eddie, John, Rich, Chief, Carl. You like that you're a first and last name guy? I, I never really had been, but I am now. I kind of like it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's cool, it. actually. Yeah. Cause you can only do it if your both names are one syllable. Yeah. Carrie right. Wood. There you go. That's three. Uh, that's three. Well, but, fucking but but I'm just saying. I just I was giving another. Yeah, where another it's first, first last, last name. name. Like Kerry Wood has never walked into somewhere and like. I'm, well, you yeah, know what? Sir Wood. The nickname. Like what are they? K Wood. Richie. What are we? I bypassed Chief's comment. Jay, Jay Rich. Jay Rich. That's bad. Jay Rich. Jay Rich. Jay Rich. Jay Rich. JV wide receiver who doesn't get any tick but has the best gloves on the team. Jay Rich can wear a chain. There's like. Five J Riches in pro sports, probably. Like Jason Richardson, that was a J Rich. He bald. There's he probably he did that. He's he was he, sweet in that slam dunk contest. He did indeed ball. Brett Favre. Oh. Um, okay, so we got the order. <clears throat> um, before we continue, I do want to say thank you to our sponsor, which is the Game Time app. Dave, I believe you went to a game the other day. I Thanks did. I game used Game Time, time last night actually. Um, I needed to will my team to victory like I had been. Unfortunately, the luck went, ran dry. But um, use game time. Decided about, I don't know, 5 p.m. I wanted to go. It was perfect night for baseball. Game time hooked it up, as they always do. It was sitting right on top of that on deck circle, basically. Loved every moment of it, and I loved it because game time – uh, supplied me with those seats. Yeah, it's an exclusive ticketing partner at Barcel Sports. Game Time is a ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows, and they guarantee the lowest price. They crack the code on how to score deals on last minute tickets. Football is back. I mean, we got uh, we got eight great ones at Soldier Field this year. I think you're looking at that Lions game, Dave. Just really be in the uh, trenches. I can't wait for that that punt fest. Yeah. Uh, see Dan Campbell. You're kind person. of a late in the year kind of guy, though. Susanna's buoyant Hooters. What do you yes. mean? You go to the games when the Bears are out of it, and then you call up game time and just have a fun time at the tailgate and Absolutely. watch the game and leave the third quarter. That's the only time I actually like cold weather. If it's zero degrees at a Bears game, I'm having the time of my life. And we'd like to thank game time for yes. giving you that experience because yep. they're the number one ticketing app and the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. Isn't that right, Ed? That's it. The purchase process is so quick and easy, and once you buy your tickets, they're delivered directly to your phone. No printer needed. The app also allows you to it's easily share easy. tickets with friends via text so you can get into the game seamlessly. Go use the GameTime app. 
Um, yeah, real quick, White Sox Dave, you have a music podcast you should tell more people about. Yeah, we uh, it's me, uh, Kenny Carkeet of AWOL Nation. You have all heard the song Sale, and then Colin Budney of Fox Trotting to Get Down, a band out of Philly, and then Dante. We've had some big guests. We just had Ice Cube on, show went viral. Um, we've had Sublime with Rome. We've had X and Bat. We've had a lot of really big bands on that show. So is it mostly interview? What do you guys? It's interview. About? It's conversational, just like most Barcelona podcasts. We just shoot the shit. And with Kenny on the show, who's a very established producer and musician himself, like he's got all the hookups in the world, so he knows all these guys. So and what's the name, just, Dave? Where can people find it? It's called On the Guest List. You can find it on YouTube iTunes, all that good stuff. Beautiful. Go if, do that. One interview, if you had to recommend one to somebody who was like, I'm going to go check it out. Which Neon Trees was fucking awesome. Cool. Neon, Neon Trees, Trees was great, and they've had you know three or four mega hits. So Shout out to the trees. Go check that out, White Sox Dave. Makes me want to beat Dave more now because he's got the music podcast. If well, Dave that, comes in as the it's, expert, it's, it's maybe, it's maybe not, they're that's looking what for I was wrinkles say. in competition here. Like you, you say he's a favorite. He, I don't think so at all because like he, he on the music stuff, he gets a little like he gets when a should little he ever too. Be I'll say this: yeah, so when should he ever be the favorite in this draft room? I'm White kind Sox. Of, what's what's that? When, what is your biggest sweet spot that you think that, that would put you the biggest favorite? White Sox? Like if we oh, did a yeah. White Sox draft or like like baseball? No, or I was saying like just White even Sox. when we did like the love song one. Like you know, you were getting deep into like the fucking oh, I, I archives. Love love, love I, song. I yeah. think he has a depth of knowledge that I don't. Yeah, have. yeah. No, I, I'm not saying he does it, but I'm saying it's, if you it's, listen it's a to too my deep music, where podcast, people don't know what it is. Yeah, exactly. But if you listen to my show, like those guys, their careers are music. They get. It. I am like. Uh, Two out of ten, they're a ten out of ten. They know shit that I have no clue what they're fucking talking about. So I just kind of sit back. Like Dante knows a billion times more about the music industry than I do. Mm -hmm. Dante knows everything about the music industry. I'm just kind of there for the ride, but uh, provide some comic relief and let them bust my balls a little bit about not knowing what the fuck I'm talking about. But um, you're a passionate fan. That's a that's a basis. No, yeah. it's good. I like it because I'm not the one explaining shit. I'm the one learning shit. So. That is nice. It's a it's a complete one eighty compared to like talking baseball or something. So, um, all right then, White Sox, Dave, take <clears throat> us away. Number one overall. So I'm looking through all all the lists of like best album covers ever, and I think there's probably I would say five that you could argue for one one. I'm gonna go with my favorite album of those four or five. I'm going with Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd. Yep, that was number one on my list. It's sick poster. I mean, yeah, the, everybody knows exactly what poster. It's the prism with the rainbow sticking out. Uh, you see those shirts everywhere, and I don't even know if half the people wearing them like have ever listened to the album. But the album itself is just a masterpiece. Uh, the I mean, it's 50 years old. It's been on the top of the charts for every year it's been since its release. It's it's a iconic, iconic album album artwork and album cover. I and I love the album itself. I think it's just incredible, incredible music. When I think of a record, I think of that. Yes, like an old school record. That's a good way to, yes. that's yes. a good way to say it. Yes, yes. when vinyl. I think of the vinyl, I think of that cover. Mm -hmm. It's Dark Side of the Moon. Anybody in here got some vinyl? John, you, you I vi do. vinyl got your vinyl got? Yep. Jay, I, I, I need to get Rich? I played a lot of my dad's, but not personally. I don't have it. And shout out your dad's cover band real quick. Yeah, the Illegal Smiles. Go give them a listen if you're in. Bowling Green, Ohio, and probably nowhere else you can catch him playing once every month. Hell yeah. <laughs> Damn. A little John Prine cover band. I yep. love that. But, um, I just want to say, I had so I had that on my list, too. I was stuck between, like, well, are we drafting the most iconic albums or, like, actual, like, cool album art? Because I'm not sure that that album art is that cool or if it's just oh i think it's really cool. like is it am i wrong it's it's pretty basic. i know what it's you mean triangle and some rainbow the way i kind of attacked putting my list together personally is what because now if someone releases an album for the most part you're not you're just going straight to spotify you don't even know what the album cover looks like you know this yeah. one it and the other ones that are on my list it's just album artwork that i remember from growing up so not necessarily what I like the most is what sticks out the most to me from like prior to sh streaming music, if that makes right. sense. I don't know. I no. think there's some mystique to it, right? Yeah. Like I feel like if I saw it in like a, a basement and I just like pulled a bunch of records and I wiped some dust off it, it'd be like finding Chester Copperpot's map, you know? It's like, oh, dark side of the moon, you know? Yeah. So now why don't you tell everybody who Chester Copperpot is? Yeah. Everyone knows who that I is. I don't. I don't. I don't. 
John? Do you, John? Absolutely not. Do you see the world you live in sometimes? <laughs> I mean, if you if you don't know Chester Copperpot, it's from, exactly. the, from no. the Goonies. So. Okay. Oh, that's, oh, that's, oh, okay. I didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just pulled it so quick. I, I wasn't, you know. I, I, that's what I mean. But I haven't a, seen the Goonies in like 15 years. It's That's that's a you problem. Yeah, that is you. It's that's on TV. You like, and saw it on Tuesday. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. It's they knock TV. over the map. What, what now, Chunk? And then they find it. And they, oh, wow. Dude, it, was a, it was a great movie. It is a it's great movie. It's an iconic movie. movie. Sure. I was going to guess Goonies for the record, but I didn't. Convenient. Could have been a Harry Potter spinoff. Convenient. Um, yeah, Dark Side of the like Mood, very uh, worthy 1-1. One, one. Um, congratulations, David. All right, it's to me. I'm going to go a little more modern. I'm going to go my time, and I'm going to take Blink-182, and I'm out of the state. Yep. Um, I was hoping that was going to get around. Hey, anytime you can crank it to one of these <laughs> album covers, two extra points, boys. <laughs> Uh, the model's name is Janine Linda Mulder. <laughs> I just looked that up. Let's look oh, it up. yeah, sure. How do you spell it? Sure, right from the archives. Janine Linda Mulder. Um, I don't know. I always thought it was Sh- no, no. He she, he was married to Shannon Mokler. Oh, it's one word. Janine with Barkers. a J. Janine J A. Yeah. I mean, I you know, like you like you said. I, I, it's not a horny pick, though. No, no, no. It's, no, it's, it's, okay. just an, it's a great album cover. Yeah, it's if iconic, you see that nurse with the blue gut give, about to give you a know colon, what it is. You know what it Edmund is. Estate. Yes. Mm. You know what it is. Yeah. So did she do stuff professionally? It looks like she did. Looks like she got arrested. <laughs> There's a mugshot. There is a mugshot. Uh, if she wants to give me a colonoscopy right now, I will let her. I mean, Dave. <laughs> Dave. Have you seen what she looks like right now? I, I do. Dave, you just had lunch. <laughs> Um, no, yeah, here she is at a digital playground conference. Good for her. All right. Yeah, I mean, just just an absolute classic. And like you said, I, I don't know. It kind of. I mean, yeah, it's a great. It's a it's a modern one. I I definitely wanted to see if I could get in a wraparound. That's what I was I was hoping for too. I thought that was a first round pick, so I was hoping I'd get it at four. John Rich thought. Well, John Rich has got a complete layup coming up, but. Well, I'd like his I, thoughts yeah. first. I believe I do have a complete layup. I know I like that pick, though. That was one of the – I obviously had to look up a lot of these just to you know, jog my memory, but that was one of the first ones that came to mind before mm-hmm. I even looked anything up. So mm-hmm. that's a good pick. And the album's great itself. That was yeah. Blink heyday. I yeah, love like that Yeah, they, like they just fucking knocked everything out of the park. Oh, right yeah. There. Oh, yeah. Like the whole package, Blink-28, knocked it out of the park. Um, so, yeah, I don't know the state. Everyone had the CD growing up, so – uh, happy to have it. John Rich, you're up. So I thought this was 1-1. One, one. Um, maybe not. I mean, your guys are probably just as good, but I'm a big Beatles fan. It's yeah. not my favorite Beatles album, but the album cover, Abbey Road, mm-hmm. it's a classic. It's maybe the most distinct album cover ever, to be perfectly honest. I mean, I've, I've been seeing that since I was a kid. I love the Beatles. Great album. Again, I, w- I would have picked that one one, so I was pumped that I got to me. I mean, there's not much to say about that pick other than it's obviously a very good pick. I don't know any history about it. I have no context to offer about Abbey Road. Abbey Road. But you know what? Everyone tries to recreate it. I was yeah. telling Patty yeah. and Molly. Yeah, like I don't know if it's is that over by the recording studio. It's, I think it that, is, yes. there's it's some kind of like tie in, I guess, or like the history behind it. Yeah, like why were they out there? I was talking to Patty and Molly. There's a uh, Earth Cam right there, and I, I'm looking at it right now. There's a live feed of the uh, of people trying to recreate. Yes, it. Yeah, exactly. And it's just fucking dumb tourists. That and when did that come out? So people have been doing that for <laughs> seventy years almost, probably crazy. sixty years. If you go to earthcam.com and you look up like Abbey Road, you'll you'll be able to see it. Just a bunch of tourists. There's I guess some, it's like, like cons- super busy and it's just I'm like sure fucks is, everything yeah. up. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. There's some I remember hearing conspiracy theory about it where they're all like all their left legs are are pacing and then John Lennon's right leg and that's supposed to be like oh he knew he was getting shot something like that. I mean, yeah, and um, <laughs> that, that's the maybe you guys just said this. I'm sorry, but um. The whole conspiracy about Paul McCartney being dead. Or that's that what album. it was. Yeah, Paul that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he's, got a, he's got no shoes on, which I guess you get buried with no shoes. So that album played into that conspiracy, hmm. which is a really cool thing the Beatles did, I think, to like play that whole thing up. That's kind of ahead of its time. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it is iconic because if I, if you guys ever gone across, you have, Chief. You've gone across the pond. Oh, yeah. I, 
like if list of things like I'd want to do, this would be oh, something yeah, I'd definitely. like to see. I don't know, you know, if I don't know if I'd recreate the picture, but I definitely would I'd, like to go. I didn't squeeze it into my trip, but <clears> I think the next time I go, I probably will. Yeah. You say that, so kind of in that same ballpark, when I was in Boston, we went to uh, the bench that uh, Matt Damon and, and Robin Williams had, like the heart-to-heart and Goodwill hunting. And once you get there, you're like, oh, there it is. Like, cool. Like, all right, let's do something else now. Mm-hmm. That's, I'm sure what it would be for this. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how it comes to a lot of this stuff. Uh, yeah, very worthy pick. Um, pretty, pretty, pretty chalky early on. So, uh, Chief, you're up. We'll stick with the chalk. I'll go with Led Zeppelin with the album yep. cover with the uh, the Hindenburg on there, the blimp crashing. Uh, another one that it's like similar to the Pink Floyd thing. I feel like you, you saw it everywhere. It's an iconic uh, album cover. I'm not the biggest Led Zeppelin guy, uh, but I still know that album cover because of how like iconic it is. Mm-hmm. White Sox Day, this is all you. I I mean, that's it's a home complete. That's absolutely something that could have gone 1 1, I think. Yeah. I think all four of these could have, and I think what Carl should be picking next could have also gone first overall, but that album is just so goddamn good. And the Ooh, pressure, Carl. The no, the no, imagery no. on the album cover is just. Yeah. It's, I what was the name of the album? Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin. Self titled. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. yeah. So oh. put like a little one next to it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but. Oh, nice. It's uh, John. You're if you want to jump in here, shit on Led Zeppelin. You didn't yeah, like yeah. the uh, yeah. Try it. You, I mean, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm not a big Led Zeppelin God guy either. It. But I I do think. I mean, this kind of falls into what I was talking about. I don't think the cover is particularly cool. I think it's iconic. I think it fits on this draft. But that's like that's the mental kind of battle I'm having with myself. Like looking at all these album covers because I think I know which one to play. That one really plays, but. I mean, there's a lot of cool album covers that yeah. also see, know, I think it's know like, what he's heard of. So it's a tough balance to find. I, I See, I do think it's cool. Like, I think it's right. cool. It's like an iconic image that everybody knows outside of them. And it's like one of the biggest disasters ever. And you put that as the cover art for your first ever album. I think that kind of says something, too. Uh, mm-hmm. And I think it's it's a, just a cool image. So uh, I think that's why it, it plays. And uh, another word for Blimp is Zeppelin. Um, yeah, and go. we're early here in a, in a draft that, that has a limited amount of chalk, and then I think we'll be able to express ourselves more probably after we get through like the first seven or eight picks. There's Agreed. still heavy, 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 heavy chalk here, though. Yeah, heavy, heavy there chalk. Is. Yeah. Heavy. And I mean like two all-time chalk picks. Yep. Um, so I'm just trying to think of how I want to balance this one and which one I want to talk about first. Let's just get this one out of the first. Um, I'm going to take – um just do it just do it no i'm not i'm gonna take nirvana never mind yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. yeah i mean obviously we got a little fucking dick oh. in the pool that's controversial i'm sure jack mack who you know <laughs> he he can doctor something up there i trust him very much with this can pick. jack yeah i know do you get it yeah, yeah. the um, i mean i think you could just put it on there you google nirvana never mind and the image is there it's not like we could get in trouble for uh, that's a first round pick. It's, it's a first it, round. I think it, it, has if, to. it has to be. It has yeah. to be a first chasing round chasing the dollar. Now it's such a not the time, right? Okay, uh, little fucked up baby in the pool. Obviously captures the attention. The photography there is beautiful. The way the light hits and like I mean, it really is it a pops. beautiful, it beautiful pops. Yeah. picture. Definitely. And jarring. Um, the the concept of. A, a small Ameri- – this is my interpretation of this. I've not read anything on it. I'm not an expert in art history or whatever. I would imagine that they want this American baby in the deep end of a pool chasing a single dollar on a fishing line to, like, represent just how utterly hopeless it is to be a young person in this country sometimes. And I think that's where, like, Nirvana was coming from. That was deep. And, and it's kind of, like, bro. heavy to think about that they'd be like, why don't we just throw a fucking baby in this pool? And they found a baby. And you, there's an article in blogs and follow-up interviews with that baby. Yeah, yeah like I'm looking at him now. He yeah. sued. Yeah, he, yeah, he yeah. sued in 2016, it looks like. I feel like we talked about that somewhere, but it was like maybe radio. He, he did all these. Yeah, maybe it was radio, but he did all these interviews like for, for years talking about you know, like how cool it was and it was like a great pickup line and all that's my dick and, and all that stuff. And then he was like, wait a second. I'm I, should try to, money. I should try to get some money out of <laughs> yeah. this. Even though I Does think his parents were paid. Got- money out of that has it been has he successfully got money out of actually it looks it was in it was only it was only a year ago september 2021 yeah. he sued mm-hmm. he was, on, he was I think that's why we talked about it on like a rundown or radio or yep, something it was like yeah. on a topic sheet shout mm-hmm. out danny he's, he's 30 good, good topic sheets mm-hmm. 
Um, any complaints because there's a, a penis on it, John? Maybe I should have a complaint. No, I don't. For whatever reason, I think that album actually is it's pretty cool. It almost sounds, when I say it out loud, maybe I shouldn't think it's really cool. Yeah. But Your hard it's a cool-ass album. It, it's iconic. I like Nirvana. That's a good pick. I want to give John credit. He's doing a great job. We literally pulled him in five minutes before <laughs> yeah. this. And uh, <laughs> and so thank you. We, we're just busting it. You're doing a great job, man. They only had three albums, I want to say, total before he died. Um, and this, I mean, this, I'm awesome. going down the they track rocked. list right now, and these were, I mean, revolutionary. I'm not the biggest Nirvana fan. It's just a little too dark for me. But what they gave birth to is you can't ignore it. And, like, I'm looking at this track list. Like, every one of these songs was a fucking hit. It's, they're still hits. Like, In Bloom, Smells Like Teen Spirit. The, the yeah. Unplugged concert they did on yep. TV is just one of the all-time coolest fucking shows. All right, we ready for the second round? We're yep. ready. All right, I'm going to transition. I wanted to take this one first overall because I, I actually like this one more, and this is my first album ever. My dad gave this to me. Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. I mean, just the conspiracies behind it, the stories behind it, the colors, the, the amount of shit that has to go into this album cover and this is back at a time they can't like Photoshop this stuff in. So the story, the art, and how they created this is pretty wild. And obviously, Dave, you were bringing up like the conspiracy theory about like he's not wearing mm -hmm. shoes. And I'm kind of scoffing about it because it's like, yeah, sure, that is a th whatever, th fine. You want to talk about conspiracy theories and albums? Pull up the Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. It is insane. Like, oh, this guy's positioned here, and because of this, and how like the Illuminati the, in the geometry behind it, like the Last Supper painting, Bro, shit like that. Yes, yeah. like like. Like if you draw concentric circles around these types of people and the you can you know, there's a message there from Satan and this is the Beatles, you know, mm -hmm. acting on behalf of the powerful elite, all this crazy shits out there. But anyway, it's a great it. fucking album, wild, trippy cover. Uh definitely the type of thing if you if you you know, took some substances and were flipping around the album and like you'd pro probably be a cool experience to stare at that I, album you, and listen to that. There's some uh weird shit about all these old classic rock album covers. If you uh, sync up Dark Side of the Moon with Wizard of Oz It and just turn the volume completely mute on Wizard of Oz, the entire album syncs perfectly to every scene. It's super that. fucked up. I want to do that right now. Pound some 3 G and do it. You will fucking Maybe trip like you're on acid. Anybody? Psychedelics? Harry? You're supposed to do it on the third line roar of the, like, inch, what's the, what? what yeah, I, the MGM. Yeah. The MGM yeah, yeah, thing, yeah. yeah. By the way, that's that. If we ever wanted to draft entrances, <clears throat> that's number one. THX also has a good one. Shout out George Lucas. What's We're up? deep She's here. Okay, I just took Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Let's get out. Well, I'm very layered in this conversation now. Yeah, uh, Beatle John. I mean, did he take the better uh, Beatles album? No, not. I don't think so. No. I, or are you saying album or album cover? Both. Album cover. Wow. Uh, album cover. I got the better album cover. Although that. Is also could have been a first round pick. That was on my uh, that was on my board. None of them are close to my favorite Beatles albums, though. I'm not sure if I'm going to draft that or not. So we'll see. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right, that's a pretty good wrap around for you, though. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's um, it's got some Family Feud uh, Wheel of Fortune steam to it. I won that one too, yeah. right? Okay, yeah. I think Let's you go did. Back in the no, fit. no, you didn't. Did, didn't you? Know? I don't know. No, Who you knows? know what? I did win it, but someone announced it as some. Yeah, you know what? Let's just keep moving. <laughs> uh, Chief, you're back up. You were right. Hmm. I'm trying to decide if I want to just take an iconic one here again. I'll go with Born in the USA. Yeah. Spring, mm -hmm. Springsteen. That's like a classic one. Another one that I feel like is you could remove all the all the text from it. And everyone would be like Bruce Springsteen. Springsteen born in the USA. So great pick. Um, so I think we've all stayed kind of chalk, and I think this is probably very chalk as well. But it's a, it's another one where it's just like you know you know it as soon as you look at it. And I feel like this is kind of like a college uh, dorm poster one too. So um, so yeah, born in the USA, Springsteen. I think it came out in like eighty four, eighty six, something like that. Dave. Yeah, mid eighties, something like that. I'm not a Springsteen guy either. No, not at all. No, not really. I don't know. Something about I don't know if it's his voice or just his vibe. 
I think I he's know. kind of a douche. It's the vibe. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I like him. I like his music though. I've never seen him in concert. I, and I saw him in the United Center. He was awesome. Yeah, I'm sure he's he puts on a fantastic yeah. show. Everybody fucking loves it. But I, I just think he's kind of a douche. I, I also saw be- him in Milwaukee. and He played for like it was the last stop in the tour. This was like 2009. He played for like five and a half yeah. hours. It was preposterous. Do you know yeah. what I think it is? I think the adults in my life when I was a kid who really liked Bruce Springsteen, like the people I'm thinking of were kind of like asshole coaches, people that I didn't really like. So, <laughs> so I he's an asshole because of that. Bit. Yeah. Know what kind of bothers me is yes. half my mom's family is from New Jersey, and we've seen it with cons and other people. If you are from New Jersey or tangentially related to someone from oh. New Jersey, they idolize that right. man. Him and John Bon Jovi. It's fucking crazy. It's, it's like weird. they don't like him because of his music per se. It's just that he happens to be from that s- the same state. I would agree. And it's then, re- it's yeah. odd to me. This is one of those things like my dad tells a story. I think this is kind of what I was raised on on road trips with the spring scene, but he saw him in some like fucking dive bar in like 1974, like before 73, like before he like became Springsteen. And my dad was like, oh, like, you know, the, so, so the story goes, who fucking knows? But that's what that's what he would always say. And then that was like my whole childhood just in the car. It was Springsteen. So I don't think that's weird. What? That they root for him because he's from there. I, I mean, root for people just because they're from here. Yeah, yeah but I think, but it's, it's, I think it's he's a like a cheese ball about it. Yeah. It's a totally different. Like, I, I'll root for, like, I like Kanye West. It's cool that he's from Chicago Sweet. But, like, they swear by this guy. Yeah, no, it's a, it's I, I it's a different level than what we are rooting from people from Chicago and sports or music. I or would agree with Dave. On I that. read a book one check. I did one time. Chuck Klosterman wrote a book called Sex, Drugs and Cocoa Puffs, and he dedicates a chapter to why Bruce Springsteen is a fraud. And I can't remember any of his great points. But uh, if you are an anti Bruce Springsteen person, check. It's, I'm like looking at it now. He fucking he like. I th- I think the big thing again. Oh, never mind. Just, just keep moving. What is, what is it about? Bruce Springsteen's ass. So you just loving this cover art, Chief? I don't know. Something about it. it's very he does Americana. Got a nice little tight yeah, ass. <laughs> he stays in shape. He <laughs> shakes that thing when he's on stage too. Like he, I remember being like, because when I saw him in the United Center, where I was on the floor. I remember being like, this guy is so fucking sweaty. Like he's just he's just working his ass off on stage for for that four hours. Um, sold his entire catalog. You guys remember this? Beginning of this year. Remember the number? Half a mil or half a bill? Yeah, five hundred million dollars. Yeah. A lot of dough. It's a Big lot of time. dough. Um, all right. Born in the USA is off the board. John Rich, you are up. All right. Um I was kind of afraid one of you guys were gonna pick this just being from Chicago, but I guess I'm switching it up a little bit here. I'm a massive Kanye West fan. Kanye West and John Prine, my two favorites, opposite ends of the spectrum. But uh the college dropout is yeah. an awesome album cover. Mm. It's him sitting there in the it's kind of the bear mask, and then that ended up being kind of his, I, I guess his brand. Like I don't know, yeah. That, that bear music videos. It's kind of. I mean, you see that, you think Kanye West. You see that style of cartoon bear, you think Kanye West. It's an incredible album. It's his first album, one of his best. Um, Back when I used to like Kanye. Documentary. The whole making of that was so cool to me. Dude, so, that. I'm very excited to get that. If you guys haven't watched it, Kanye Doc. They they go through his early and like formative years, uh, and it's all like you see places in this documentary. You're like, I've been there, I've been there, I've been there. Like I know that house, shit like that. But how he put that album together was so, unbelievably cool to like watch unfold on that documentary. And that that album is like an all time great album. Yeah, and just how hard he had to sell mm-hmm. that to people, and how many people just didn't give a fuck at all. Like they're like, get the fuck song out of my office, dude. At all. Yeah, yeah, it, it was crazy. I highly recommend that. Like, you mm-hmm. don't even have to be a music fan. It's just a super cool documentary. Definitely. Did you debate another Kanye album there? No. No. Okay, I so you think that's the one. best one? Yes. Okay. Yeah. There's I another one. I have a one, second though. one. I don't know if I'm going to go double into Kanye, but there's another one I would have picked if, you know, I wanted the Kanye one on there. So there's another one I would have picked. But. Yeah, because I would argue there is another Kanye that's a little bit more iconic if you will say i mean i think yeah, that's a better album about, i'm not sure if we're talking about the same one but um probably not yeah i don't, I don't know <laughs> he's he got a few i guess but. yeah but obviously college dropout was great yeah um so college dropout of the, mm-hmm. i guess 
Is that the first outside the box one or no? Eh, no, it's up there. Yeah, it's. I, I, I would like say it. It's up there. Yeah, I like it. Um, all right. College dropout off the board. It's to me. Um, uh, I mean, I, I'm gonna go NWA straight out of Compton. I mean, they're circled mm-hmm. up like the fashion. Like close you can't say home. enough about it. Yep. Yeah, close to home exactly. Just you know, me and the boys with the fucking Glock, <laughs> just pointed down at the fucking camera. Yo, dude. Um. Eddie's coming. He's looking for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I what a time. Like, you know, just gangster rap and it yep. just it's like, basically invented a genre. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like it is a like it is a relic of mm-hmm. like just that picture, just that album art is a, is a it's a relic of the time. This is the one them looking down in the camera, right? Yes. It's yeah, yeah. It's like they're all circled around. The top. Yeah. This is terrifying. Yeah. Straight out of Compton, man. You know, what, you know what I'm waiting for? Is John Rich to deliver on talking that shit like yeah, that shit he said talk. before. Yeah, you think that's a good uh, pick? I'm I'm not going to talk shit on Straight Out of Compton at all. I'm a big, <laughs> big NWA guy. Um, you know, Do you think the pick's it, available but, later in the draft? Yeah. When, it, when, any of, when you first said NWA, I don't think I'm tipping anything here. And this kind of happened with Pink Floyd too, but there's like more iconic pictures and posters that I think of when I think of that band than that album cover. Do you know what I'm talking about? Did there's Dark Side of the Moon, are you nuts? No, absolutely not. There's a, I used to have this black and white NWA poster that whenever I think of NWA, like- I know, that, I know what you're talking about, of, yeah. That's the more I, I think that's more iconic than the album cover. And I think that the Pink Floyd women sitting along the pool is more iconic than i don't know if it's more iconic but i think about i think that's cooler i'd agree with you on nwa because that poster was that actually an album cover no that was just like a poster right that goes that that does go against your pick because that poster is more iconic than the actual album cover that is i would agree with that which makes your pick a little shitty well what do you say about his he just said the same thing about yours like, well, he's completely incorrect there. He's just completely <laughs> incorrect there, and you well, guys I mean, all agree with that. And everybody who heard him say that about Pink Floyd, Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon album cover is like everybody, everybody on the planet knows that. I don't know. I mean, what are there more posters of hanging up in college dorms? I mean, college kids they got the coolest posters. What are there more of? Pink Floyd pool. I mean, they're the only ones hanging posters. That's I'll true. compete with college kids too. right now about hanging posters if I was hanging posters. Oh, I'll put if those anybody college kids knows about hanging posters, it's college kids, Carl. Please. True. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's a good point, John Rich. It's a good point. However, I still think that the album cover is great. It and, is. And, um, yeah, I mean, NWA just a piece of its time. I don't know how many more times I could say it, but mm. that, that's, that's... Just a classic addition to your portfolio. In classic, draft. yes. Classic, yes. Um, I have the early 90s and I have the late 90s. Oh, even though like we're freestyling, that. you still have a focused approach. Well, I don't know. Just how, the way they've been the, doing this for a while. Sometimes you got to go with how the chips fall, and that's how I went. Uh, White Sox, Dave, you're up. I am going with Sublime 40 Ounces to Freedom. Is that the one with the tattoo? Yes. The tattoo on the back. It's there. the sun. It's got a mushroom in it. There's a whole bunch of little subliminal. It's my first album. It, it was my first album. It's my favorite album ever. That's my favorite band ever. I could sing every song on that album almost verbatim. Please, let's hear right it. Right now, to this day. I bet you can't right now, to this day. I said almost. Uh, half the songs at least. What does almost verbatim mean? Like, half the songs I could go verbatim. Most of them I could come close. Can you p- sing um, Don't Push for me? Don't if push. I had a shotgun... You know what I do? I'd point that shit straight at the sky and shoot heaven on down for you. I'm not going to go any further. No one wants to hear Would that. Would you do that for Ed, I loved though? it. No, I wouldn't. Because he's mean to me. <laughs> <laughs> mean to you? Mm-hmm. What did I do? Is this about the shove last weekend? Yeah, I'm still a little ornery about that. The audience doesn't know this. I mean, uh, have I not told? Them, I, I don't the, think on so. On this dog walk, on, I've not in told this on format, this no, you should tell people. Did I tell you. I tell you this. You told me in person. You uh, told yeah. us on Redline Radio, and it was a very, very, very good story. It's good enough, you should share it with. Well, White Sox Dave and I don't usually overlap, and we overlapped socially. Uh, yeah, yeah, socially, and we overlap. <laughs> we 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 overlapped uh, last weekend. I saw him at the same bar, and he didn't see me, and. I looked at it as an opportunity to fuck with him because I had the fucking beautiful 
most fucking pinpoint how you draw it up angle pursuit and i just went up to him i saw the fucking little bridgeport bomber shirt out of the corner of my eye and i just grabbed him by the shirt i said what the fuck are you doing around here you pussy and i shoved him and he was like ready to fight and it was uh it was quite the moment yeah then we had a little left about it <laughs> exactly and i always said hey and then we just see you later yeah adios see you at work <laughs> see you, see you monday <laughs> that was really it you knew going in the risk you could funny. have gotten punched what you say you could have gotten punched Oh yeah, that was I. I know he's. I mean, White Sox Dave. Ninety eight percent of his days are spent with that fist balled up. Yeah, ready to go. <laughs> ready to swing it. I gotta in case anybody accosts me. I gotta be ready to go. Exactly. Don't fucking try that, people. I'm telling you, he almost swung at me. If you're thinking about fucking with White Sox Dave, pick another target. <laughs> think twice. Yeah, think, think twice. Fucking, think three times. White Sox Dave's <clears throat> ready, dude. And the people he was with was like they were rattled. <laughs> it was pretty funny. I think we took a picture. Yeah, we did. I yeah. forgot to tweet it out. Here, here, I'll send it. I'll send it to Danny so we can put that in the social clip. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's why he's still bad at me, rightfully so. Uh, okay, Sublime. He's not shooting heaven down for you. <laughs> Forty ounce to freedom is off the board. White Sox, Dave, you got to go again. Uh, I'm going with Rumors by Fleetwood Mac. Oh, nice pick. Mm. Nice pick. Uh, I hate I hate how they spell it though. They spell it the Canadian way. A English. bunch of yellow be belly Canadians. They sn stick a, an extra letter in there. You don't like that? No, I don't. They do that with all sorts of words. Favorite. Yeah, fuck that. What else you got on this? Um, no, I mean the album's great. Obviously, the music's fantastic. I love Fleetwood Mac. I've seen them many times. They're great, even though they're a bunch of weirdos. But um, I mean, it's just that's. Kind of like what Ed said, when I think vinyl, I th that's one of the albums that immediately comes to mind is, is Rumors by Fleetwood Mac. Um, and that's all I really got to say about it. I'm not really sure what's cool about it. I'm looking at it right now. There we go, John. It's, it's just keep, I, it, keep that thought. I'm not saying it's cool. I'm saying like it. Yeah. it um, when I think album covers, it's just one that pops into my head first. I will say maybe this just more out to me as a bad music guy. I I like Fleetwood Mac. I'm not like a massive fan. When you said rumors, it, the album cover didn't pop into my head. Oh, I don't say that out loud. You f you feel so much younger than you are. Like if you were 22 or 23 I, I or something. Young. Like, I listen to, I listen to rap and John Prine, I guess. <laughs> Expand yeah. your musical horizons. I've said it before. I saw a Slipknot concert last summer, and I never in a million years thought I'd go to a Slipknot concert, but no. they're fucking awesome. No, best concert I've ever seen, I would never like buy his album or listen to it, was Kid Rock. He has so many songs that like you just know you just know every song that Kid Rock has. You probably don't even know. It. That was the best concert I've ever seen, and I would never be like a Kid Rock guy. I've heard that. Have you heard he's, that, Ed? He's a better singer than he is like a rocker, I think. I've heard there's a concert he does in Detroit every year, and he's like, Tickets are like 10 bucks, and he will not make them more expensive because he wants his people there, which I appreciate the fuck I, out I of. appreciate that. He is kind of a douche, though. I mean... <laughs> yeah, but he's Kid Rock, though. No, he's I our know. douche. Like, he's America's douche. <laughs> you it's know, kid, like, we need yeah, him. Like, <laughs> there was kid something... <laughs> where did I... I read this or heard this somewhere. He, someone was at a party, and Kid Rock was there, and they go to the back room, and there's just, like, legit a mountain of cocaine. I mean, just, that's all I got. Whatever. It's rock and roll, baby. Oh, Kid yeah. Rock doing blow at a party. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's like, like, that's a no dust story. Yeah, that's, but that's a free space on the bingo card. You know? <laughs> you know? Like, that's not a fucking. That's <laughs> no surprise there. Um, okay. White Sox, Dave goes with Rumors, Fleetwood Mac. I, I don't know. Yeah, it's a better album than one, it yeah. is a better album cover, Dave. Yeah, I don't know right. about that one. I, like it's I a said, classic vinyl. Very classic. I'm obviously. thinking. You start, when he said it, you said, ooh, good pick. Yeah, yeah because it's it. a good album. It's going to win over people. It's a chalk pick. Like, people know. It's, I, listen, if you're going to say album covers, rumors is going to get out there, and people are going to, it's going to absolutely move the needle. Uh, it's a better album than it is an album cover. I, for but that's sure. the thing. I, I don't give a flying fuck about the artwork if the album itself is good. Well, that's what we're drafting. I know. Like, but all, all of these so, album covers, like, I don't like necessarily a lot of these that are on my list. Okay. But that I just don't pay attention to the artwork often. Mm -hmm. But that's, like I said, that's one that when I think vinyl, I think Dark Side of the Moon, I think Rumors is definitely one of the ones that I wouldn't have had to, like, Google best album covers ever. 
like that would have just already been in my head. And that's why I think it's a good pick. It's a good move. I mean, it's good. People like it. It's a great album. Rumors. Fluid Mac. Okay, it's to me. There's something about just the four-letter word posted up on this, the font, the boldness. Everybody knows I like bold. Cash, baby. I'm going with Johnny Cash's last album. Um, the American for the man comes around. Uh, it's his last album shortly before he died. Okay. Um, and it's, it's uh, I don't know, there's something about that cash, man. It's a nice piece. Yes, there's something about that cash. Um, okay, what about, is it the best one out of your Johnny Cash's? I don't I just really like that he's like, like it's done, like he's old. He, right. And there's he, something he knows, to that. He like knows he, his time's up. Yeah. Yes, he is hurt on that album. And he doesn't it's, have to dress it up. Yes. It's like, you know me, this yes. is it. And his rendition of Hurt is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Dude, I don't really like U2, but Johnny Cash's cover of One by U2 is like the most beautiful song that I've ever heard played. I highly recommend everybody go and, go and listen to it. And the Hurt is the no. same thing. What? I'm just joking. I'll listen to it. Um, all right. Hurt's the same thing. Simple. Less yeah. is no, more. This is a less is more pick. His cover of Hurt is just fucking incredible. He's, he does it better than... Uh, it's awesome. Yeah, it was Nine Inch Nails, right? Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it, it's it's sensational. And I don't. You guys don't like the way that cash looks. No, I do. There's something, but it is you like a less it is well, more. Yeah. It's a less right. is more yes. situation. I do mm -hmm. like if if someone else like you can only re, in, in my mind do that if you're like an icon. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. And like I said, there's something about him just being an old dude on there, like eyes closed, like this is it. The curtains closed. Yep. Yep. You know. John Rich, thoughts? Love Johnny Cash. I I pretty much agree with everything. I'm not going to sit on Johnny Cash. It is it's it's a basic one, but the, the word Cash is cool. You know, I love my last name's Rich. It's Cash. That's kind of neat. So we, we, go. we got that going together. Um, yeah, good pick, Eddie. I like it. See, John Rich, you know, you got to be authentic on these two. You can't just shit on yeah, things yeah. to shit on. And y'all so. you, are such nice people. I, I don't want to just <laughs> shit on you. I, when when I listen to you on the podcast, I can I can get myself worked up. Now you all too friendly. <laughs> Yeah, someone will draft something stupid. <laughs> I'm coming up. Yeah, yeah Chief's, <laughs> Chief's going to do that. I think I am going to do it in the third round. I got one that I was going to save for the fifth, but I don't want to save it anymore. <laughs> uh, John Rich, you're up. I'm pretty torn here. Um, I got four more. I'm hoping I can get them all. But I would also not be surprised if they all got taken within like 10 picks. I have no idea. But I'm going to go with. Let's go with Notorious B.I.G., mm -hmm. Ready to Die, a little baby sitting there with an afro. It's a great album, too. That's a classic one. I think for some reason my theme was starting to be like the type of posters I'd have in college and like what you're going to see, you know, hanging up on a wall. And I think that's an awesome album cover. It's real simple. A lot of white in the background, good use of blank space. Good album. Christopher Wallace. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't have too much more to say about it. Great songs on it, though. You yeah. want to know something cool that I just found out? Yep. That was on vinyl. That's how old right. that album is. Isn't that crazy? Really? It came out yeah. in like 94, right? I'm sure they had CDs at that point, too. They might have just... No, they... Uh, yeah, but... I Are mean, you trying to fact check White Sox, Dave? No, I just said. Here. I, I mean, uh, didn't it come out in 94? I feel like that came out in 94. It sounds disrespectful to me, Dave. No, I, just, I mean, there's that was just like the overlap. Like, look, you can get it for 50 bucks. On vinyl? Yeah. yeah. Everything's on vinyl, yeah. right? I don't think you could get like a Kanye West album on vinyl though. September thirteenth, nineteen ninety four. So I don't. You're not like it's not like they, the preferred. It was. It was probably like yeah, we'll put it on vinyl, but it was CDs and tapes at that point. No, I know that, but like I said, you're you, not going to be able to get a Fleetwood Mac or Kendrick Lamar or not Fleetwood Mac. I don't know why I said that. I was reading it. Uh, uh, Kanye West or Kendrick Lamar, like. I doubt you could get Taylor Swift on a vinyl can, right now. Absolutely, you can get Taylor Swift on a vinyl. Yeah. A thousand percent. I think you, you can. can get anything on vinyl. Can you? Yeah, yeah I guess you can. I might Go to the that. record I, store I next like door. Like yeah, but that's a record store. I think that's more for vintage shit. I, yeah, you can. No. You can. There's folklore and 
No, yeah. what they have is you'll go there. in there and you'll say they'll have the record, and it, for a lot of them that are super popular, then they go in the back and they pull the copy. So they'll okay. only have one copy of the thing. So then you'll feel like, oh, they got one copy left. Right. To get it. And you go up front and they go, okay, yeah, just Let's be back. You have to go get the. Uh, yeah, I just assume that like they don't make vinyls anymore because there's no demand for them. So what are you wrong. laughing at, John Rich? I don't just the uh, the record store idea was um I don't know I'm just laughing you guys are funny <laughs> they think that nothing's on vinyl. <laughs> I just didn't think they made vinyls, vinyls for new artists a, anymore. Like probably, it's like making an eight track. Well, yeah, eight tracks are stupid though. Like vinyl, there's still like a mystique about it. Like there's people who will probably tell you to this day that the best quality sound you're going to get is on vinyl. I, I heard that's actually factual. That is not true. It, Absolutely not. So it, it has more, they say it has more depth because when you put it on a CD, they'll compress the file to get it to fit on that disc and you'll lose a lot of like the little white noise, little off notes and things like that, where vinyl is just like actually how it sounded in the studio. So there you go. There I go. also, can I say something? This is like a dumb brain thing. I will never understand how a little black I don't, disc I, uh, and I a don't little either. pin can no. make different musical notes. It, it, I will just <laughs> never. It might as well be a rock. I shit. mean, explain a spinning CD. That to me is like that's computer shit. Yeah, this is just like a piece of black plastic. <laughs> there's no like computer electronics. Yeah, it's just yeah. like you just put a little needle in it and it just plays every song that mm -hmm. you would ever. You just however that works. I have no idea. That's like that's not so, a dumb brain thing. Nobody that's sorcery. listening is people will say you're an idiot. But nobody that's listening actually knows. No, who, whoever came up with that idea is a genius. Might as well be how Einstein. That, In fact, I bet it was Einstein. It was probably like Edison. I could see him inventing something like that. Yeah, that is up his alley, yeah. I feel like. All right. But I've always wondered that. Shout Should out go. to Notorious B.I.G. Ready yep. to die. Go get it on vinyl. B.I.G. P.O.P.P.A. No info. For the D.E.A. Chief, you're up. All right, so I'm going to chief myself, but it's one of my favorite albums of all time, and I think the, the cover art looks like a Van Gogh painting. It's Sturgill Simpson, Sailor's Guide to Earth. It's, I think it's just awesome. Like, if you took the text off of that and someone just, like, hung it in a museum, I'd be like, well, this belongs here because it's just cool, and I feel like no one's going to know what it is, but it's, it is probably my favorite album, and that includes the artwork. So Sturgill Simpson, Sailor's Guide to Earth. Now, you do know there are five rounds. I know. I you said I was going to your personal pick. Totally. In the fifth but I'm round. going personal the rest of the way. I John, decided. the floor is yours to no, lay into so cheese. I think this is actually kind of cool. I'm looking Thank at it. You. I've never heard of it. It's not an iconic one, but look, there's cool waves. There's a boat in the it background. It did win a Grammy. Like, that's actually like, and what, is there like some lava in the front, maybe? Something like that? I, I mean, it's an impressionest picture. So I think that's yeah, supposed to be the song. You know what the fuck impressionist yeah. means? Do that's you? a cool picture. It's no, a like cool that, picture. It's exactly. Iconic. Yeah, I mean. So it's like a it's a it's a boat in the storm and you got some crazy shit going on. I feel like if you hung this in a museum and took the the, the text off of it, people would be like, "Whoa." What's and that? I, and I, but like counterpoint if it was like page 7 in Moby Dick, I would be like, "Oh, cool." I, I mean, it belongs cuz <laughs> Moby Dick also iconic. <laughs> like you got me there. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, so I mean, it, but like that is an objectively, right, well, uh, in my opinion, a very cool picture, and I don't care that you guys don't know it. And guess what? This one is also on vinyl, and I have it on vinyl. It came out in 2016. I can't believe they have it. There's a vinyl. little. <laughs> That's uncalled for. You're being an asshole, Dave. He's being a dick, and is I don't that appreciate that. Is that crazy of a thought to have? Do they put Taylor Swift on fucking yes. cassettes still? <laughs> I just no, assumed that they no. stopped doing that because nobody listens to vinyls anymore unless it's like a nostalgia thing. And that's few and far between. I think vinyl's making a comeback. It is. Yeah. It's, comeback. it's returning. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I think it's returned. I'm collecting. I'm yeah. going to get a fish album after this. How about that? Wow. And Trey, little, are you going to listen to Split Open oh. Belt and <laughs> go to Mars? Yeah, vinyl's making a big comeback. Come on, Dave. I bought my parents one uh, player in 2016, something like that. Crosby yeah, you probably Carter. got it from like a thrift store or something. No, right? dude, I got it from fucking Best Buy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> like, you're, I'm good, sorry I'm not up to speed on vinyls. I mean, this was six years ago. So then I got them like a couple of newer ones that also came out this year. And then I went in their basement because they, you know, they had moved like, I don't know, seven times and never unpacked their albums. So I just went through and got all their like the best of original albums and re-gifted their own albums back to them 
Very nice gesture. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is a nice gesture. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Carl. Uh, hmm. Okay. I'm going to take... I'm going to go across the pond. I'm going to take who's next. I'm going to take the boys taking a piss on the monolithic structure in the middle of nowhere. Uh, people think who's next is a question. It's not. It's it's who's ne- it, the band is the who, who's next. It's their next album, Bob O'Reilly classic. It's a great album, but the the thing to me that made the who so cool, and I could be completely wrong about this, is like they just fucking went way harder than a lot of like that poppy, rocky. Like the Rolling Stones are cool and they party and all that stuff, but their music is like fucking four chords and a glass of milk. I mean, it really is just a standard. I mean, I'm, I'm glad not, RA's not here for this. Sure, part. yeah. I mean, I and it, the testament of the band, the band is amazing, but the the structural integrity of the music that the Stones play is nothing in comparison to I who that you're going to get some shit for that. Am one. I going to get shit on this for this? I think so. I think the fucking I think the who went way harder. I think they oh. partied harder. I think their fucking shows are harder. I think their I, music's harder. I, I don't think they t- were way more rock and roll. Ah, man, I don't know how I mean that's the Rolling Stones. They are rock and roll. I I the, but I the who fucking crazy Keith Moon. They called him Moon the Loon because he was just he like didn't sleep. He was constantly fucked up on drugs. He was, he would destroy hotel rooms. He was like the epitome of a rock star. The yeah, but a lot of, of their star. stuff is just a lot of the same fucking. It's the same like you know. They they have like fucking, a little brother syndrome though because Pete Townsend constantly to this day shit talks Led Zeppelin. It's like dude, like Led Zeppelin's bigger than you, man. Like you're punching up, you know. Well, Led Zeppelin is. Like the fucking hardest of the best. They're the all that crazy. Stuff. You can't yeah. even like compare a band, a rock and roll band, to Led Zeppelin. You can't. But to me, I thought that you know, I like the Who a lot. I'm a big Who guy, and they were a little bit more, um, I don't know, like experimental, so to say. So maybe. I can like you the play Who. the it's a cool uh, cover too. Can you play the the intro on the keys? So I got to a funny Bob story about that. So I played in the band in high school that played before uh, basketball games, the pep band. And I was the keyboardist. And so we would play Bob O'Reilly forever at my high school was the opening song when the team came out. And the basketball team was like our biggest thing. And so it was forever like, oh, we have the fucking, you know, we got this great team. They blare Bob O'Reilly on the sound system. But then they wanted to do a pep band. And they were like, hey, you guys have to learn Bob O'Reilly. And I remember listening to it and sitting down at a piano and being like, I don't think this is something you can play. Well, it turns out it's all recorded on a synthesizer, which is so programmed. Yeah. So one of the guys in the band had a synthesizer. His dad was in a band. He sits down. He programs it. So we run the Bob O'Reilly synthesizer at the start, and I'm pretending like I'm playing. <laughs> so all through high school, people would be like, dude, how do you fucking know the Bob yeah, O'Reilly opener? <laughs> and all my buddy's dad put it together on a synthesizer for us. So to answer your question, <laughs> no, I can't play it. Yes, I was a fraud about playing it, and it's impossible to play. <laughs> that actually, now you're. I can see yes. I I understand it's impossible to play because it's not like actual music. It's like just but the sounds. chords come in hard. It's just like yeah. boom. I'm gonna get shit out from Rolling Stones fans, but I do respect the Rolling Stones and the longevity and how they do it and all the songs and the hits and all that stuff. But you know. I never would have had you pegged as a keyboardist in a pet band, Carl. <laughs> oh yeah, I was on the math right. team too. All right, nice. I, I also never knew they. I never looked at this closely. They they all were taking a piss on the sculpture. I didn't realize that. Oh, and it's like in the middle of nowhere. It's uh, yeah. I I don't know what the message is. And there. you know Pete Townsend. Oh, I didn't uh, notice that either. That's pretty sick. You know Pete Townsend's a convicted. I want to say convicted, maybe alleged. Uh, kitty porn guy. Oh no. When Please they played the alleged, Super Bowl yeah. in Miami, Definitely he alleged. had to go knocking on like all the people's doors within a mile, saying there was a sex predator around or something like that. Whoa. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Bob O'Reilly, Black Betty, and the Rocky soundtrack were the pillars of the St. Pat's weight room, so I appreciate it. Um, you're up again, Carl. Um, hmm. Well, now I'm compelled to take a Rolling Stones album. <laughs> There's one that I that popped into my head immediately. Yeah. Mm. No, I'm I'm gonna go back to. This here's a good one. Here's the first album I ever bought. I went into Coconuts. I was in first grade. I got like a like a twenty dollar coin. Remember Coconuts coins? Yeah, like yeah, a yeah. Big heavy. Mm-hmm. And I got Green Day Dookie. That's that was on my list for sure. Yep. yep. 
So I just saw him play at Lollapalooza, too. They put on a crazy show. I, I still can't make an opinion about Billy Joe Armstrong. Obviously, great rock and roll guy and, like, great front man and just fucking puts on a show. But then he would, st he would stop. He'd be like, what's up, Chicago, you little fuckers? And I'd be like, all right, dude. <laughs> just rock and roll, man. I mean, he, he did put then the covers Green Day puts out. That, that was a really, really, really good show. Um, I fell in love with them when I was in first grade. And it was like, you can pick this out, I believe. Is it parental advisory? If it's what? not, it doesn't I'm really sure matter. it is. Um, but just feeling like one of the, that was like the first time I was like, oh, we're going to the mall and I can pick something out for myself. And then like, I get to use like the family CD player. It wasn't like everybody had a CD player in their bedroom in 1993. So that's true. That was like a really special thing. Like we're going to teach you how to put the CD on and all that shit. And then I'd sit there and read the lyrics. So when they were playing, I'm like, man, I remember all these songs. I haven't heard these songs in forever. And you're like, singing the lyrics to when i come around why because when i'm eight i'm reading the album and great album don't scratch it great album cover john rich please talk shit about it now i like you you're getting us going please now see now i'm not green day dookie i didn't look it up green day dookie oh, Jesus. that mm, that's not their coolest album cover at all uh i think there's an argument that there's a cooler one. Oh, that there's one's a way more fucking, iconic one uh, i mean iconic sure mm. For me, but did you me, say no. cool? Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. But right, that right, one, right, no, right. that yeah. one's so yeah, no. Uh, that's cool. It's, I don't. Know. It's cool. There's blood. No, that one. Mm -mm. You, mm -hmm. you think blood's? Yeah. Mm -hmm. blood's it's too. Cool. All right, but it's too. Uh, it, it's it's too. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Geometric. It's not. It's not a smooth. Should, we, uh, should I just take it because it was on my list? Go well, right ahead. Well, real quick, it also goes without saying, but uh, this, these drafts are on YouTube. If you have an email address, you can subscribe to us. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button. So please do that. Um, so if you're listening, um, all the album covers will be there for you. If not, they'll be on Twitter, obviously uh, at Dog Walk Barstool for uh, poll time. So just putting that out there. If you're driving and you're like, oh, I wonder what this looks like, mm -hmm. it's there for you. There you go, Chief. What were we gonna say? I'll take American Idiot. Yeah, yeah. that's... Um, yeah. So I like the Dookie album cover, too, but it looks like, when you look at it, it looks like a Where's Waldo book. Like, there's just too much going on. You can't... It's just... It's too busy. There's too much going on. I like the simplicity of American Idiot. Uh, I think that's a... Uh, uh, maybe a more symbolic, where they got the heart grenade thing going on. Uh, and I just... I think that's a better album cover. And... Uh, I want to steal some Green Day votes from Carl. I also just want to <laughs> see if there's like a, we could put that to a debate on uh, on Twitter, a one on one poll versus those two uh, album covers. Yeah, I I might be wrong in this, but do people kind of see the American Idiot album like hardcore Green Day fans as like like the downfall of Green Day? I would hope like, so. Wouldn't there thing like people like they liked old Green Day better? I might just be making this up in my head, but you might get some more points for Dookie from that perspective. Dookie's a better album. Yeah, and just like their older stuff, because it wasn't a long time before they made American Idiot. Yeah, it was ten years. Oh, it was that yeah. one? I mm -hmm. it was four. So then, but then American Idiot was so mainstream. It was on Madden and like, -na 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 -na. yeah, like it was so it was poppy and shit. Mm -hmm. You know, it was to like be. Mm -hmm. But I think that was their way of like getting to the people that they played for ten years ago. Like, how do we get back to like that eighteen to twenty four year old or the fifteen to whatever that? Yeah. Sweet spot is it's a good debate. We'll see. I I have more of a connection, but that's because it's my first. Well, like when you say Green Day, or if I if I just looking at the Dookie album, I'm like, oh yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. But I get it. We'll mm -hmm. see. Yeah, I think in terms of the artwork, though, I like American Idiot better. Do you really? I feel I like do. you could fucking draw that. I feel like but I, the symbolism. Yeah, Carl. and what is the symbolism? Like, you don't Edward, think, you don't think it looks like a Where's Waldo book? No, no. Dookie, I want to. I want to know. I want to know, I wanna hear person. Eddie talk the about. The heart is a grenade. Keep going, Ed. Yeah, and What's Chief is awesome. a love guy. Like you know, yeah, Chief, but he hasn't like, pulled the fucking pin yet, Ed. Like any time Chief it, experienced he, heartache, he thought of this album cover, and his true. heart was a grenade. That's true. Is and, it? Yeah. Are you an American idiot? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I think it resonates. Okay. Therefore, it's all very relatable. Yeah. Exactly. They make fun. They. It's like the American idiot. The culture of like, don't follow what you're supposed to be following. Mm -hmm. And I think the idea of him holding. The hand is holding the heart, and the pin hasn't been pulled. The point is, like, I'm ready to fucking go, man. You just tell me. I have my, I'm have holding my heart in my fucking hands. I always do that. Just point me in the right direction, Ed. 
I'm ready to blow up at any time, though. You will you pull a pin on your heart? I Would you? Done, I've done that almost exclusively. You can only do it once. Life. You can only do it once. Gee, that's the point. every breakup is a is a pin pull. It's a good pick. Thank you. Um, a lot of Green Day talk. John Rich, what's your favorite Green Day song? <laughs> favorite Green Day song? I don't really like Green Day I'll that listen, much. I listen to that. Uh, the one I probably listen to most is a Boulevard of Broken Dreams. That's oh, probably like shit. when I was younger. Like I, I played the shit out of that song. So going through I guess some stuff. I have to be my favorite. You okay now? I'm okay. Okay. I'm okay. Better. <laughs> I had some, some tough breakups in seventh and eighth grade. Yeah. Yeah. That was my second cool. concert ever. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Who'd you go with? Uh, one of my buddies. He got tickets for his birthday. Um, all State Arena. Okay, John Rich, you're up. All right. I'm kind of kicking myself for that diggy pick. I feel like I could have got that later. Um, man, I got some good ones left. I'm going to go with this because I remember it from my childhood. Um, the Velvet Underground and Nico, that album with the banana on it. My dad had like the... I don't know if it was a collector set. Um, it was like some weird box collector set, and you could peel the banana off the front, and like underneath was like a like an unpeeled banana. And he'd always get mad at me because I would take the banana off, and it like ruined the integrity mm -hmm. of the album because it was getting less sticky over time. If any of that made sense, um, I think that's iconic. I think I mean, that's not one. That's not like one of my favorite albums or anything, but. Before I knew anything about the Velvet Underground, I still don't know much. I see that banana, and I know that, that that's Velvet Underground. It just instantly clicks in my head when I see that. Um, yeah. I think it's pretty iconic. I but don't... it's not cool. Uh, but, Dave, did you not hear? You could peel off the banana. That's pretty cool. From the front of the box. And then that underneath is cool. it was an unpeeled that's kind of banana. Cool. It's like a pop-up book almost. That's like almost a... like you didn't, it's almost like you didn't hear me say that. No, <laughs> I, I heard you say that, but like I'm <laughs> looking at still images of it. I can't peel it off our computers. And it's like He didn't. Yeah. He's he got, definitely didn't. Yeah, he's yeah. got potatoes in his ears. It's, that's not true. Yeah, yeah. clearly yeah. does. Actually, it is true. <laughs> I need to get no. professional help with my hearing. Great reasoning, John. And, and honestly, just doing you're... research for this list too, It's it, yeah. I saw it a bunch of times Same. as well. I just wish I could relate more. I just don't really remember it. I have the same. Yeah. It was in top five of basically. I looked at three or four lists. There, it was top five in all. Of them. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, right. credit to you, but sorry. No, no, I get it. That that is one too. I mean, that was. I still don't know if I'm drafting the coolest album cover, or not. So I'm still kind of on the fence about if I think. How how are we good. defining this? Coolest or best? Yeah, yeah. You're uh, what you think are the top five? Okay. Right. Andy Warhol. Oh, made yeah. that album cover. it looks like oh yeah. did he literally yeah because so, okay. yeah. yeah. it looks crazy. like a warhol but it doesn't i didn't know he actually yeah did it was it. andy warhol wow. mm -hmm. um okay it's to me i'm gonna go with the first cd i ever bought or i had bought for me um and it is the marshall mathers lp by eminem uh there's two versions there's one of him in amsterdam and there's one of him sitting in front of his childhood house and I'm going to go with the one in his front of his childhood house. There was something about, and I know it wasn't his first album, but like there was something about where like him sitting in front of that house, and now you realize like he was just about to go off, and that that's exactly what he did. And uh, yeah, it's probably one of my favorite albums of all time too. So wow. uh, maybe it might not resonate with people in this room. Can you but, rap to it? Like uh, if we played it on the. Dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah, I know some. I know some. I would lyrics. probably know a lot of those songs. Oh yeah, I loved. Loved the early Eminem albums. Do you like the cover or no? Yeah, yeah, it's cool. And Super like, cool. that's the thing too. Like, I don't know, dude. He just looks like like such a pissed off human being, which he, he was, is. He, yeah, because of his because of Kim and and everything like that. And uh, like, it was just like the really like true, in my opinion, coming out party of Eminem, and uh, really like. Eight Mile too, like that's a Eight Mile became then Eight Mile came out and it was like oh mm -hmm. this is where this is like the actual Eight Mile on this cover. Be so. Rabbit, yeah. So I don't know if these pictures are actually her; or they're just like fake. But Haley's the smoke. I when think they're this? I think they're true, Dave. I think so. Um, She's twenty six now. John Rich, uh, Marshall Mathers LP. I think it's cool. I, I'm I'm kind of partial to Detroit. I grew up kind of close to there, so it's always kind of had a weird it always had this like weird mystique as like the worst city for whatever reason like mm -hmm. that's just kind of how it was always posed to me as a kid so driving through i always thought it was neat i loved eminem i feel like 
any kid my age who was somewhat into rap loved Eminem. I was looking to see if we got a better album cover. I, I think that's the one to go with if you're taking an Eminem. Yeah, one. I think so too. I, I think, I yeah. mean, you know, sure you could debate on his best album, which, but I, I think this is the best one, but I don't know. I, I just, there's something about just hit him sitting on the stoop like ready to fucking unleash yeah. and like he, and he unleashed through his music <laughs> yeah he and fucking he was, unleashed dude did it in an incredible incredible way yeah he i like that pick terrible album covers looking at these now yeah uh thank Sorry. you david i appreciate that um white sax dave you're up uh this is outside the box a little bit but it just it sticks in my head because like when I think album covers I think 90s I think No Doubt I think Tragic Kingdom and I love like beach rock like reggae-ish kind of music I love Gwen Stefani she just seems like awesome awesome people actually I, I she was like the first celebrity I've ever seen in person I saw her in New Jersey at the boardwalk they were doing like an MTV thing there I was like 12 years old I'm like that's Gwen Stefani <laughs> but um, I love No Doubt uh, the album cover like I said it just pops into my head when I think like 90s music and looks like a postcard a little bit a little bit a little bit and uh that's pretty much it thoughts comments smart remarks ed no i, th I no, no doubt uh, it's i i was thinking of another no doubt album when you said that's that. that's the only one that pops the my cover head. is yeah, it yeah in terms of album covers yeah um but yeah i don't carl i feel like you would have a no doubt thought no, I I was just listening to No Doubt recently because they were in my uh, it was what was the song? Don't Spider speak. webs, don't speak. Don't Spider webs don't is speak such is a, great. They're all great. This whole this whole album is just banger after banger. And I'm then, just uh, a girl. But then I was listening to, the, and then that made me listen to the Presidents of the United States because I had bought their peaches album in when a I was can. a kid. Millions mm -hmm. of peaches. Those were the days, boys. Yep. Those were the days. I feel like these are a lot. I don't know if they were on American Pie soundtracks, but. That's that vibe, mm -hmm. like that sound. Yeah, 1996, I don't think, I feel like I don't feel like No Doubt ever made it on. But yeah, you're right. But it's like they it should. should. Have. They yeah. probably just couldn't afford it, so they went with the Alien Ant Farm instead. And like yeah, some 41, 41. Yeah. yeah. I think some 41 the most for that. Yeah. You, you got anything on No Doubt? I was actually listening to Offspring yesterday. Um, don't know that band much at all. There's a fine album cover. There's kind of a lot going on there. I'm not really. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know if I get it, but. Kind of neat. I'm not. I'm not going to shit talk it too much. <laughs> I never uh, would have picked it. You need one more White Sox, Dave. I need one more, and I have pick of the litter for a bunch of them. But <laughs> ah, it depends on what. Honestly, it's all dependent on genre. Hmm. What genre I like the most. coolest album cover. So, of recent vintage, the album cover that. Pops into my head immediately is 1989 by Taylor Swift. I'm going to go with that one. Um, going oh, after the Swifty vote. You dog, you David. Why? All right. You're a fucking piece of shit. Right? <laughs> that, I mean, we, we get the fuck of out of here. All the albums. Like, of, why did we, we just wasted two hours on this draft <laughs> if you're going to get the Swifties going. I mean, up next. I'm not getting the Swifties next, going. Oh, I'm, fuck you. You get the Swifties going you know by what? shit talking I'll just take Taylor a Beyonce Swift. Al album. You should, that, 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 I won't fuck with the Bayhive. Taylor Swift out like fans like I'll go toe to toe nose to nose with you guys. The Bay oh, Hives will a you then? Oh, will oh, you? Yeah. Or are you just fucking catering oh, to him oh. like a little bitch? I'm not catering to him. I love that album and I love Taylor Swift's music. But 1989, that like if of the last five, seven, eight years, whatever, when streaming music became more popular and album art like kind of you know started taking a back seat to to the actual music. That's an album that just pops into my head of all the famous albums that have came out in the last, you know, seven, eight years, whatever. Like, I know that album. Malicious. You dog, you. Malicious. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't malicious. Do you you, were, have any you weren't even born in 1989. I was born in 88. I only right. got a wow. two months in 1988. I didn't see that coming. That's oh. the biggest heel move. In a while, How's that he won't even move? own it. The fact that it's you're not walking a around move. here going, I "It's a love. great album cover." It's How a about listen to my music it's podcast. A, yes, it's yes. a watercolor image. Yeah, unbiased. Who cares? Unbiased uh, party. John he Rich. drafted a banana. Uh, he drafted uh, a fruit. <laughs> so, I mean, obviously, Dave, you're pandering to the Swifties. Like, that is not, not true. I love that fucking that. album. I love it. I love that album. You can look at my. I have a a Spotify Spotify playlist where it's like 200 songs. I have probably That's half that album well. on okay. my running playlist. Yeah, but okay, but I will say, I will say, 
I have a blanket hanging on a recliner of my apartment that is the Taylor Swift 1989 album cover. There you go. So I, I would be a little bit disingenuous if I, I should talk it too bad. Um, Polaroids are kind of cool too, but yeah, I, I have that. That is displayed in my apartment right now. There you go. Thank you, John Rich. Thank you. I guess. This things make no sense. You literally slammed your phone down. My headphones are on. I couldn't hear them, and I slammed again. I could hear them. Sometimes like we that's are, all it takes. He's Ed. been hitting the table this week. Yeah, I know. Like, he yeah, has been like a table fonts. hitter. Yeah, don't yeah. let the fucking new studio and the bright lights fool you here. It's just like a 1994 TV. You just got to mm-hmm. smack it around a little bit. Uh, <laughs> um, um, yeah, I don't know, Dave. I, I believe you that you really enjoy it, but... Yeah, I do believe him too. It was a little oh, more. I, loved it. I, I mean, everybody. Yeah, no, loved, yeah, loved everyone loved, likes, yeah. yeah, everyone loved Taylor. Swift. It's just, a, it's just. It, but you that's. Know, but I'm trying you to understand think, how like, it comes across I'm, to us. Yeah. Yes, and I'm trying to articulate my point, which it never works for me ever in any situation <laughs> as long as I've lived. But that, like I said, of all the newer albums that have been released, I actually know what that album cover is and who it's for. Fair. If. Like I like if Beyonce dropped an album tomorrow, I would have no fucking clue what the album cover looked like because I'd just pop it on Spotify and stream it. All right, so what's Taylor Swift, nineteen eighty nine? I know that album cover, and I'm trying to like get away from all the nineties and beyond and, and prior albums with this pick. That's can, why I drafted can, it, not can, to pander. It's because sure. it pops into my head as an album cover, can, an album uh, Now, now the four of us. Now, are you going? To, are you taking Beyonce, Chief? Can we? Can we? Uh, no, that okay. was a joke. I was thinking about Did, getting my barbs in line. Uh, and, and taking 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 a Nikki, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stay true to what I wanted for the fifth round. And oh. you said it, Dave. I'm mad you said it. You, I don't know why, but this is it came out in the late '90s. And when I think of like my friend's brother CDs, it's the Offspring Americana. Yeah, dude, Ed, I fucking love that cover. I swear to God, I went for a jog. This is today's Wednesday. This is Monday. I went for a jog and I threw on that album. And it is a oh, fucking bangs. fantastic album, and I love that artwork. It's great. Yes. If, if you don't remember it, it's a cartoon. It's a boy. Yeah. With a, he's swinging on the swing. He's got a fucking roach on him or some mm-hmm. shit, and he's got, like, a leg brace on. It's just so fucking 90s. Like, you yes. know what I mean? Yes. It is just, I don't know. It's, it's as 90s as it can possibly get. Yeah. So, I, I don't know. I just And it's a great album. Like Fun fact say. about Dexter Holland, their lead singer, he's got a degree in aeronautical engineering and uh, biochemistry from UCLA, and he's got like a 2 billion IQ or something. No shit. Yeah. Shout out to my guy, Clem. We, we love The Offspring. I love The Offspring. One of my yeah. all-time favorite bands, and that's not, I'm not just saying that. Like, it's a great album ten, cover, yeah, too. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> it really I fucking is. love that. I put on that album for the first time in, in years, and I was like, I forgot how good of a band this is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They really are great. Anything on them, John? I, love I don't got thing. much on them. It kind of looked like he was giving birth to that bug for a second when I pulled up the album. Yeah, I could see that. Shout out to bit. Americana. Well, that kid's got like an yeah. evil grin on his face. Yeah, it's like a weird 90s yeah. cover very, art. It's like But it's like nice. one you'll never forget. Oh, yeah. yeah. And there's, Perfect. I think there's probably three songs on there that I can just instantly be like, yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Uh, John Rich, you're up. <sighs> All right. Um... I go with the pandering one too, but I don't think it's really that cool of an album cover. So, well, I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with the band, the album Jericho, the one oh, okay. with the house on the front. Yep, that's one of my. That's more an album that I love. The band, one of my all-time favorite bands. Good pick. I like um, that. Incredible. Pick. That's a classic one. Um, yeah, I think I got a pretty strong five here. Honestly, I'm. Fucking Atlantic City, dude. Oh, no. I mean, you just I, see that's that. the best version yeah. of that. Yeah, you uh, see that. No, not even close. I don't. I don't. I would never listen to the Springsteen version. Yeah, uh, I like the Springsteen version too, but the band is yeah. Yeah. much better. The, I mean, I, I heard, I heard the band one first, so then I could just never. Yeah, Same. that's fair. I, 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 that's the one I grew up with, and you, you can't go to a new version. I would that. say that that's a that's probably a top ten all time song for me. It's very good. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Now, is the is, weight? Do we? I feel the like weight. I'd love to know. I'm not blaming you for anything here. I feel like I'd love to know more about this house. <laughs> um, I can't tell you more about the house, unfortunately. It's okay. But it, so, it's a nice looking house, right? I was having what <laughs> it's pink. What's that podcast we did about the uh, 
where it's like the Mandela effect, where it's like you thought yeah. I thought it was a red barn forever. Oh, really? Yeah, like in my brain, like I maybe I haven't seen it for a long time, but I always thought it was. I a can red see barn. why you think yeah. that. They also kind of keep. I feel like people keep trying to remake it. Like two chains, I think two chains and and Ariana Grande have like basically the same album cover. Oh, if you really? look at a couple mm. of their albums, I feel like people kind of try to replicate it in a weird way. Damn. Hmm. At least two chains. He's got the big pink house on his. I gotta look that up. And you, you're one chain. <laughs> I'm, For now, I'm, I'll get there. I'll, I'm, okay. I'm working my way up. Oh boy. Chief, you're up. All right, so I'm taking this. I feel like I know I'm already left off the the poll this week, so I'm going to take one that I know won't play, but I love it. I just think it's cool. I think it's a cool song. Kenny Rogers, The Gambler. I think that's like uh, he's sitting there in like a poker room, and it looks like uh, like he's at an old saloon, and he's got like the classic like 70s haircut, and it's just another song that I would, if I were going to make a top 10 all-time song list of mine, this might be on there too, The it's Gambler. Actually, and I, I just think the album cover always, I'm just like, I would love to be in that room. Like that's, when I look at that cover, I'm like, man, I wish I was sitting at that table. So Kenny Rogers, The Gambler, I think it was late 70s. Yeah, it's got the, uh, like when you go to Six Flags and you do the mock photo. Yeah, a little yeah, bit, yeah, 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 a little bit. Like but I'm okay saloons. with that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I said, I said yeah, yeah. an old saloon, but yeah. I just think it's just like, he's just, I think Kenny Rogers is sweet. And, he is uh, kind of sweet. He is kind of sweet. And it's just like I, I love like stories of like the old West and like the old saloon life and culture. And and that is a room I wish I could transport myself to like 1870s, like Jefferson the, City, Missouri or something like that. I was talking to a friend this morning about how about uh, they just finished Peaky Blinders. And I'm like, Tommy Shelby's so cool. He makes me wish I smoked cigarettes because he just makes it look yep. cool. Kenny Rogers, I don't know if he does smoke cigarettes or not, but if Kenny Rogers is Buddy, one of those guys that's that just picture. so cool <laughs> that Please. if he smoked cigarettes, I would start smoking cigarettes because he did. Look at him. I know. He He's, smokes <laughs> cigarettes. I'm sure he does. Sure He's just cool. Is he still alive? Uh, that's a good question. He, the room looks a little scary. He died 2020, March 2020. Did he, is he a victim of the, the coronavirus? possible john prime was i know unfortunately john i feel like john prime was the first guy yeah. i was like fuck yeah somebody yeah. somebody i had people correct me that john prime did not die of coronavirus he died with coronavirus oh yeah. well, there's a hill that people want to die on i mean he had coronavirus whatever. and he died Who gives yeah i know yeah i just i got all those comments he was the it. the one celebrity death and even like he's not even really celebrity celebrity even though he kind of is, but that one hit me hard. I was like upset over that death. Yeah, that sucked. How you been? He sense. played. He was, he was doing his thing all the way up until he died. Yep. Yes, he was. I just saw Bonnie Raitt like two weeks ago. That's amazing. She talked about him a lot. Really, and it was very sad. Mm -hmm. Carl, hit us with that, Mister Rollins. Well, no, I'm I'm close to making a pick here. I'm in between two. Um, I was enjoying the banter. I was hoping you guys would continue to go. I do I do have thoughts of maybe You'd love an ad read, wouldn't you? An ad read would be nice. I'm I'm also contemplating I'm looking to see if BTS has ever released an album. <laughs> <laughs> you scum. That, that's you like talk going about, beyond. You wanna talk about <laughs> torpedoing everybody's efforts uh, to put out a good show. I could just compromise the entire week. Um hmm. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the Beastie Boys "License to Ill" 1986. That's a good pick. Fucking nasty picture, like the F-16. Yep. Um, it's like a really detailed, cool, cool picture cartoon. The the thing, I was in between that and Jimi Hendrix experience. Jimi Hendrix experience is like a little too. It, it's just too like, oh, I recognize that album. I don't know if there's anything particularly cool about it. I do like the color scheme with it. It does stand out. It is memorable. But what has come up time and again as we've talked through picks with John Rich today is like, is it actually cool? Is it actually right. like a? Is it actually something you'd like want to sit and look at while while the record's playing? I think that's kind of how I'm seeing it more as opposed to like you see it and you recognize it. Um, so yeah, on that front, I think Beastie Boys license the ill. Uh, this is, I don't know, it's fucking classic. It's sweet. It's the Beastie Boys. And and I've tried to get the Beastie Boys before in a draft. I failed miserably. I was going to say that. <laughs> you know, so there is a little thing. I know that I For reached. For a boy band. I, Come I, on. I, I know, but credit to me for, you know. Now, is this a plane crash? Yeah. 
into a mountain or something. Oh wow! It's not exactly dark. You know. Yeah, I was gonna say. I was like, I was. It's beautiful art. Ed. So you got a you got a baby dick in a plane crash. Well, you got to understand. <laughs> That's quite that the board. What type of plane is it, Ed? <laughs> Looks like a commercial jetliner. Yeah. Is it yeah. a kamikaze? No. <laughs> No, not that, that's not the direction we're going with that. Never mind. I, you can if you want to. <laughs> um, Interesting. How many baby dicks do you think were on board that plane? Yeah, I didn't. See, so, like, I don't see it as a as a commercial airliner. I see it more as like a like a like, like a, a top government gun. like hangar. Yeah, yeah. No, for sure, it's got. Yeah, definitely. But I gotta understand what you're saying. It's not. It's absolutely seven forty seven. Thoughts. Yeah. What are you fucking laughing at over there? I'm, laughing, I'm just, I'm just laughing at him. Um, all right, I'm gonna run through them. We'll do some honorable mentions. We'll get out of here. Uh, White Sox, <laughs> Dave, Dark Side of the Moon, uh, Pink Floyd, Sublime, Forty Ounces of Freedom, Rumors, Fleetwood Mac, No Doubt, Tragic Kingdom, Taylor Swift, 1989, uh, Eddie, Blink 182, Enem of the State, NWA, Straight Out of Compton, Johnny Cash, American Four, The Man Comes Around, Eminem, The Marshall Mathers LP, The The Offspring, Americana. John Rich, The Beatles, Abbey Road, Kanye West, College Dropout, Notorious B.I.G., Ready to Die, The Velvet Underground, and Nico, The Band, Jericho. Uh, Chief, Led Zeppelin, Bruce Springsteen, Born in the USA, Sturgill Simpson, Sailor's Guide to Earth, Green Day, American Idiot, Kenny Rogers, The Gambler. Carl, Nirvana, Nevermind, The Beatles, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, Who's Next, Green Day, Dookie, The Beastie Boys, Licensed to Ill. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Anybody have any uh, honorable mentions? I got three. I got, I got four. Uh, Master of Puppets, Metallica. I think that was their first album. Like that's fucking crazy that that band's been around for forty years. Uh, Purple Rain by yeah. Prince. I think that one probably will give us the most shit because that one's iconic. And then one of my favorite albums from the '90s from one of my favorite bands ever is the Blue Album from Weezer. There's not a ton going on there, but it's just like I said, it's one of those when I think just album from a blue screen, right? Yeah, it's it's really simple, but that album is fucking incredible. The track list on it, just absolutely outstanding. So that's what I got. Okay, I got a few, but my favorite Beatles album is the White Album. Um, mm -hmm. Again, that can't really say it's cool. It's literally just white, mm -hmm. but I think it's iconic. I don't know. It probably could have played. Uh, Homecoming, the Kanye West album. That was the other one I was thinking of. Yes. I don't know if that's what you were. Yeah, okay. so it was. Yeah, yeah, and even the graduation, cool. like the Bla the Bear Blast Off cover mm -hmm. album was pretty mm -hmm. pretty good Talk too. Wait. We have yeah, graduation. I didn't mean homecoming. Homecoming's a song. Graduation is the Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're right. I, when you said homecoming, I was thinking eight oh eight and heartbreak. No. Yeah, my bad. I messed yeah. that up. Um huh? the pandering one I wanted to go with at the end with cart was Carter three. Yeah. Lil Wayne. But again, that's not hmm. I think that's just kind of I think that's the last absolutely album. fantastic <laughs> rap album. Um yeah, amazing. We but. would be remiss not to mention the Rolling Stones lips. And yeah, but see, I don't that's sticky fingers, fingers yeah. is like the iconic one. Yeah. But that's just like a fucking bulge. Yeah. yeah. It's just a, that's no, just I was looking it up to talk. I, I mean, was it ever actually on an, an, it had to be on an album, right? Uh, I don't know like if that's it. just like their band logo yes, or that's no, I think it was like a compilation album or something. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Clean okay. News of the World, best album. Didn't want to draft it, didn't want to put it on the board, didn't want mm -hmm. to have to go through the process of getting left off the graphic because the council doesn't have the fucking taste to understand this one. This is absolutely a home run pick. I just I couldn't <laughs> wow. I didn't have the spirit in me. To, to draft it i wow. couldn't news of the world though because this is like an album i remember just playing around with a kid with it like over and over again just thumbing through this thing it's a it's a robot that's like killing the members of queen it's a mm -hmm. fucking weird 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 thing this mm -hmm. technically was a, the the lips and tongue for stones that was on an album cover my, my four were uh dr dre the chronic that's a good one. Yeah, with the yeah. weed leaf. That's a classic one. That's yeah, a, that's Chronic that's, 2001. No, that, you, uh, Chronic's when he's on the locket. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. That's the a Chronic great, 2001 was the weed leaf. Like maybe the cleanest yeah. that you could possibly have. Like that's a great t-shirt. Uh, I have uh, Doggy Style, the Snoop Dogg one, mm -hmm. with Gin and Juice, where he's like on a, he's in the doghouse. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a great one. Yeah. Um, and then if I was going to go after my barbs, you know, a little horny, but I was Nicki Minaj, Anaconda, <laughs> had to had to I give it a shout out. What's the What's the Madonna one that kind of looks like a Warhol? You guys know oh, what I'm talking, yeah, about? Know you're talking about? Yeah. Um, Madonna. 
But I feel like that's like uh, another. This is actually one that sticks out to uh, Word of Mouth by Ludacris. It popped into my head because they, he uses the Rolling Stones lips and mouth thing. Does anybody remember when Madonna did the softcore porn? Blue. Blue is the name of that. Is it just me? Nah. Did she, she do the softcore? I'm interrupting. I well, might have to go I get that, all that. I'll check it out. Check it out for <clears throat> educational purposes later. Did not know that either. Um, all right, John Rich, thank you for jumping in, dude. We appreciate you. Uh, it was good to chop it up. Very happy to have you on, man. Yeah, yeah, swept absolutely. away. That was fun. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, so that was awesome. For sure. Thank you, brother. Thanks, Sean. Um, come up with the topic that's up your alley and no. throw it to Ed, and we'll get you back on in a few months. I thought you. Uh, I've been trying to get you guys. I've been tweeting that I want to do an acronyms draft for a I like long that. time. Yeah, it'd be fun. I think there's. I think there's more there than you think. Yeah, people love when we did letters the first time, so I'm definitely into it. <laughs> uh, I'll, think, I'll think of something else, too. Yeah. Can you believe these fucking idiots running out of ideas? It's like, dude, that's the jokey morons. <laughs> I loved yeah. it. Body of evidence. Her and Willem Dafoe. There's a candle wax scene. Oh, Willem Full Dafoe. soft corn with that. Nice. Damn. Wow. Candle wax, huh? All right, that's it, everybody. Thanks for listening. Uh, we'll see you all tomorrow.